at 12, uh, I have David Johnson, who nobody is talking about. No one um, But I, I really like him, and I shouldn't because he burned me. Screwed last you year. last year. <laughs> yeah, I drafted him number one. Um, and I based my whole draft around basically getting David Johnson and Antonio Brown. Yeah. <laughs> good year for the commission <laughs> yeah it really sucked um but david johnson uh was a top 12 running back in 2016 2017 and 2018 last year he had some injuries and then the coach just didn't play him yeah. he was healthy and the coach didn't play him the texans uh i think are, are a they're gonna want to prove that this trade wasn't the dumbest trade of all time which it might be <laughs> um, because they gave up so much in like DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best wide receivers in his prime. Um, B, running backs do pretty well in that, in that Texans offense, running backs with far less talent than, than David yeah. Johnson. Uh, C, Lamar Miller and, uh, and Carlos Hyde are free agents. They're probably not going to resign there. So there's, um, they have Duke Johnson, uh, but they, I think they're going to make the, David Johnson the, uh, the, the focal point. And then uh, D, is that they have um, they have speed at wide receiver? Um, Will Fuller, Brandon Cooks, Randall Cobb. So that's going to take that second level uh, out of the equation for screen passes, or if David Johnson, who is a really strong runner, can break <laughs> past that first that first level. So um, I think David Johnson is a, is an RB two. He's definitely not RB one, um, but if he's there, and, and he might drop in in your draft. Um, so if he might be there in the fourth round, and I think that's a steal at that position. Yeah, uh, I would say the only reason most you're not hearing about him uh, is is because he had such a crappy year last year. But what people don't take into account is a new face in a new place. Uh, like you were just talking about, Lamar Miller and Carlos Hyde, they both thrived in that offense, and they are nowhere near RB1 uh, potential. Uh, whatsoever uh, Carlos Hyde ran for over a thousand yards he had six touchdowns if I'm not mistaken uh, Lamar Miller had you know somewhat similar numbers but for for Carlos Hyde who's been a journeyman running back m maybe it just speaks testaments to to who Carlos Hyde is but man uh, I'm excited to see what uh, what David Johnson can do in that offense well I mean like, like Lamar Miller um they're like he was he's been drafted in the middle rounds of fantasy drafts uh mm -hmm. for the last five seasons and it's not because of its talent it's because of the scheme that that he's in there's no and the reason why everybody is frustrated by lamar miller i've owned lamar miller a couple times in the past um is because there's so point. much opportunity there's so much opportunity and he just he, he doesn't live up to his full potential david mm -hmm. johnson might actually be able to do that so if you're getting into, you know, if you've drafted one or two running backs and you want to take a guy with a really high ceiling, David Johnson or James Conner, um, you, you might be faced with that choice at, at, at that point. Um, both of those guys have, have really high ceilings. Yeah. yeah and the, what the Texans gave up for David Johnson might be the most glowing recommendation for him that like, yeah. it just proves what they think of him. And to your point, they want to, prove that they didn't make a terrible trade, but if they really do value him at that level and like you said, and plug him into a system where they are letting people walk because they don't have that sort of raw ability that David Johnson has, that they see this guy is worth nuke. So yeah. like I expect them to get the ball a lot and maybe they do see something and maybe he fits the mold a little bit better. So um, it, I am scared because of the, the bad season a little bit. And it's like, that I've, if someone doesn't get in the game, I often think that there's probably a reason why something in practice, just not showing it effort, something here or there. So I have a little bit of concern, but yeah, new place, new face or new face, new place. Uh, I, I like it. I think David Johnson could be a good bounce back candidate. I do also worry about him seeding uh, receptions to Duke Johnson because he's a reception machine. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs>